Hello and welcome back to City Skylines. My name is Christopher Tarantola. I'm your humble host. We are playing Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and you know we've had this huge uh, shopping mall area put in. Um, we do have quite a bit of traffic, and as you can see, I've done a couple of things to try and mitigate that. Though uh, we are still drawing a huge crowd, mostly um, of delivery trucks from my in, in industrial area from this direction. Um, <clears throat> what we might do is we might put a off ramp here that will connect to the back end and see if that will help things out a bit. Um, I also want to uh, let this all be office here and uh, maybe expand it out here as well. Really hasn't done anything to change my demand. Um, you know, you'd think that all this commercial it would have reduced the demand. I think it's not registering. Um, and I think that's again just a part of the game. Not uh, part of the mo the mods just don't work as well as the the natural game. So let's go ahead and see about putting on these this uh. Off ramp here. So I'm gonna have it just kind of come right here. Oh, uh, let's turn this thing off. Come on, give me a break here. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and go over to our parking lot road from here on out. There we go. Now, I do need to... I think what I need to do really is move this back. This away. And this could stand to also go that way. And that could stand to do that. Alright, there we go. Let's see if that will maybe leave some of what's going on on the main road there. Go, go ahead and we'll manage this intersection here. I've been doing this mostly off camera. I find that it's just a, a tedium that doesn't necessarily need to be shown all the time, but here we are. We'll, we'll do it for now. And, uh, Let's go ahead and also manage the fact that you shouldn't have to stop at all to go through this intersection. There's no pedestrian access here, so you don't want that. And uh, yeah, hopefully some of this uh, that's coming from this direction will go over this flyover instead and, and on in. And uh, Whoa, we got some major backup going on over here. Um, and there's been a lot of pool this direction, so uh, with that, that one shopping center, it's created a need for this intersection to actually become a proper interchange. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm just going to delete it back to here. Um, having this train line there is going to affect how we want to do things. So. I think what we'll do is we'll do something very similar to what we've done uh, over here where we have it four lanes going down to two lanes here then you split it up and then you have uh, two lanes going that way so that's what we're gonna do here I think that'll work best and uh, let's go require us to go over here and we're going to use this one here so we click right there page up three times and bam and then I'm going to turn on the curviness because I think we're going to go ahead and curve and then we can have it go straight here 
and then we'll go back to a curve and also go down to ground level again. And you see how it clicks all the way. It like it, the, ch the 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 preview appearance changes there. That's the distance at which you no longer are like that's about twelve tiles long essentially, but along the curve. And so if I do it there, it's gonna be a little funky. So I do it there, and it creates a much more natural looking curve. Okay. Okay. And then uh, I can go ahead and. Um, I assume I can always raise that uh, up to actually be high enough uh, if it's not already, which doesn't look like it is. Just fine again. I can I can raise that up. Um, so do that, and then we will just continue straight along, uh, just like that. Perfect. And then we'll want to actually U-turn it here. But I don't want it to snap here. So let's give it a half and then another half. And then eventually we'll go on. Okay. And so now let's uh let's we, we wanna um Manage this to actually be an off ramp. That's always helpful. And before I fix that up, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll stick these as well. train line here, but I think uh, we can make it work. And we will put the snap back on and we'll bring it home at that point there. And then we'll actually make that an off ramp so an on ramp. And then now we will use our mod, movement mod to kind of manage things around. So first things first, let's um, reduce that. Just I mean, just a hair, and it, and it just works. So I'm gonna leave that that way. Um, this I might want to bring in a little bit. I don't know, maybe not. What's our problem? I wonder if. So that's not my problem there. I think it's just, yeah, it was just too close. So if it needs to straighten out a little bit, but it also needs to come in this way. And I think I'm one segment short, because I really want to come in. It's just going to be a tight U-turn. There's not much I can do about that. Um, what I can do is I can actually push this out, make that a little bit less. Um, it will allow me to reduce that a bit. There we go. And um, we'll just straighten that out like that. And that still works great. And then what we'll want to do is maybe bring this out like this. Oh, I love that. I think that looks great. Okay, so that's all looking good. Now, this, on the other hand, does not. I'll just fix that. Um, I think this just needs to be moved. I think part of it is that these need to be moved out like that. And that. It's a fine line because what I'm looking at, I'm looking at this arrow right here. Because notice if I do it too far, 
it turns into a right hand turn. I don't want that. I want it to stay straight, but at the same time, I want it to click. And there's just a very fine line between where it, it, it'll actually do that. I shouldn't have messed with it. There it is. Okay. And I'm just going to click that. I want that to go straight. And that's that's perfect. You can't get much better than that. Um, that's looking great. Um, but I think I need to pull it this way a bit. Um, there we go. And maybe reduce that down just a hair. I think that's that's a pretty good exit as well. That'll work. Alright, okay, so then we want to manage the intersections here. So first off, I'm going to turn this light off because I don't want it. Then I'm going to manage the lane. Uh, use the lane, what is it, connector? There we go, the lane connector there. So that lane goes to that, that lane goes to that. This one comes in here. And this one only comes in here. So we're not crossing any streams whatsoever. Because we're not crossing any streams, we can treat it just like a proper freeway intersection here, okay? Um, the other thing we want to do is we want to manage our speed limits. Um, we want to keep this at 90. It's actually probably a little fast, but um, I'm okay with that. Maybe we can reduce it to 80 for the sake of matching up these two 80s here. Okay. Um, and then we want to go back to our link connector and we want to do uh, each of the connections to the actual freeway here to try and have those stay going smooth. And there we go. And then here. One and two, and then just nice and straight there. And we got this one here. And fortunately, that's considered a right turn. I might want to modify that. So to do that, I'm going to straighten it out a bit. Bring it forward almost. Yeah, to there, oh, to there, and then I'm going to redo this curve here. Is it going to be all this curve? I don't think that's right. There we go. That's better. And check my work and see it didn't change but when I redid it it didn't go back to the turn so once you've done your lane connector it's going to stay looking that way unless you redo it uh, that's a very very minor little glitch I think um, if it's just the the natural gain with before you've done the net gain uh, the lane connector I should say then it will it'll fix itself uh, at live but it's just not always the case. Okay, so we got that. Let's take a look at how that looks. That completely cleared that up, which makes sense. There's now no need to stop at all. And these are going nice and smooth. Um, one thing I will want to do is go back to this junction restriction here and make sure that this is also treated as a highway intersection that there's no reason to stop whatsoever there. Um, and a lot of times you can you might do it here as well because these little connections can sometimes just be funky uh, in their behavior. Usually with the freeway on and off ramps, 
uh, you don't have to do that. They they automatically do it themselves. Yeah, so it looks like we're we're kind of finally getting rid of the backlog. We got a little bit of a wave happening here, a compression wave happening in the traffic, but I think that'll ultimately work itself out. Um, it's for one or two reasons. It's, it's because of the traffic that was there, or it looks like it might be that people are changing lanes right around here, you know, right here, changing lanes right here, and that lane changing behavior is causing that. And if that's the worst we're going to deal with, I think it'll be okay. Um, hopefully, though, it does. Uh, this will get all nice and cleared up. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. So let's take a look. Let's just have people go straight through it, shall we? There's no need to do all this lane changing. That's better. Yeah, that's just running smoother. It just is. It's still heavy traffic. It's still perhaps undersized but I'm not going to upgrade it quite yet. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Let's go back over here, and all that traffic is nice and cleared up because they can now just come in the back way to where they need to go. Still a lot of traffic on this little road here, and I'm not sure that there's much to be done about that. Kind of seems like they're treating it as a proper intersection, so I wonder if just by managing this here, like that, that'll help fix things. And it could be that there's a lot of pedestrian crossing right there. You know what? It's it's a parking lot, so on some level you, you kind of got to just let it be. Even if I could manage that, I'm not sure that I want to. Now, obviously, I haven't done any beautification here, but I can do that right now. And we'll go to our trees, and I'm just going to lay out a couple lines of trees. Let's do something a little bit fancier or different. Let's do some of these. The poplars. Alright. The poplars. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that looks good. The thing is, is, this is not just for trees, this is for props. Any prop you got, you can now just string it along like that. And man, look how quick it was for me to just completely demolish that parking lot with trees. Oh, I love it. Um, looks great, fantastic. Okay. Um, we want to do a big bush. Mm, maybe we don't. Uh, tiny bush. <laughs> a little too tiny. I couldn't even see it. Honestly. Alright. Who knows? Tiny bush. Weeping Willow. What's this look like? Oh, wow. Cool. Let's draw a, draw a tree or so around here. Just to give it some greenery since this is all concrete, which uh, is not honestly that abnormal.
reeds cluster. Look for this our golf course there on in the background. <laughs> and classic suburbia. I love how there's so, all these cars, there's so much activity, but nobody is parked. I mean nobody is parked. Now you know probably a good reason that nobody's parked is because I haven't actually laid out the parking lots. So maybe I should do that. Hmm, what do we think? <laughs> I just realized that. Okay, let's do that. So, 8 by 2 yeah. Get it done real quick, maybe. Wham. Bam. Take that sucker all around. Can't get to actually line up. Well, it was lined up. I don't know what happened there. Just won't work because it's not the same thing. 
Okay, never mind. Just gonna lay this out. Do. But at least we actually have parking, so we might actually have people parking in parking lots, which we are starting to. And that's not, you know, entirely unrealistic to have only a few, especially in America. Uh, though when you have this many uh, shops, it might be a bit unrealistic compared to uh, how many you see on the street here, specifically. But you know, what else? Look at all those parked right there. I mean, that's a ton of cars right there that really would be in the parking lot over here. Or over here. But, okay. What else is there to do? Um, you know, the traffic is still pretty backed up here. I think it's just because it's heavy. So really the only other thing I could think to do is to go to a 4x3 instead of a 3x2. Um, I'm not sure that's really necessary. That part, really, what the problem is is there's uh, turbulence in this intersection, and that's what's causing all the hang-up. I think. All right, that is my alarm, which tells me I have things I need to do, and that's right about the end of this episode, anyway. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you. Enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see y'all later. Bye.